Hi, this is the third video in the playlist on graphing inequalities. Uh, this particular one is slightly different where it asks you not just to graph the inequalities but also to write all the possible coordinates. Okay, I hope that's going to come across okay on the video. What I might do is just annotate the video to the end at the end to give you this information. Okay, so the first one is we've got the line y is greater than zero. Well, the line uh, y equals zero is along this. In other words, we can go along the x coordinate, but we can't go up into the y coordinates up or down. So y is greater than or equal to zero means that the inequality is going to be above this line here. Okay, so the next one, x is greater than 2. Okay, well, if you look at the previous videos, you'll see that what I normally do is I just graph some coordinates of where x equals 2. Uh, in this particular case, it's going to be, say, 2, 2 or 2, 4. So this particular line is going to be this vertical line where x equals 2. I'm going to draw it as a dashed line because it doesn't include the values of 2. Okay, so uh, let's just draw a little dashed line and we'll do something like that. Okay, so all the values of x are going to be greater than 2, so they're going to be on the right-hand side. Okay, uh, this one here is y is less than or equal to x. So in this particular case, I'm going to draw the line of y equals x. I'm going to make it a solid line because it does include, it could include the values of x. Okay, I'm just going to turn my back to the video and hopefully be able to draw that line relatively quickly for you. It's going to go something like that y equals x. Okay, so at that particular point, y is less than or equal to x, so therefore the uh, coordinates that satisfy the inequality are going to be below that. So the way this is kind of shaping up at the moment is we're looking at probably some sort of area in here. Well, let's just uh, figure out the last one here, which is x plus y is less than or equal to 6. Well, um, what I normally do is I'll say, well, if you, if you change that to read something like y equals 6 minus x, so all I've done is I've just moved this x over here, it means then that I can plot a couple of coordinates for x. So let's say x equals uh, 0, let's say it equals 3, and let's say it equals 6. Well, when x equals 0, 6 minus x means that y equals 6. Uh, 6 minus 3 is 3, and 6 minus 6 is 0. So it allows me then to plot the coordinates. And if you've had some experience with plotting linear equations onto graphs, that should be okay for you. Okay, so x6, uh, 0 and 6 is going to be here. Okay, 3, 3 is going to be about, oh, about there. And 6, 0 is going to be there. And again, I'm just going to turn my back on you a little bit. Okay, and I should be able to plot that line relatively well. Now, it's going to be a solid line, as I mentioned before. So it's going to be, oh, no, it's not. That's terrible. It's going to be something like about that. Okay, <laughs> that's going to look awful on the video. Okay, so... Let's see if I can tie that up a little bit. All right, so what we're saying is that the inequality is below this line. It's going to be below this line. So it's actually bounded by this area in here. So the inequality is within here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I think, is just post... Uh, on the edit at the end, some of the coordinates that fulfill the, com the possible combination of coordinates that fulfill that, just so that a little bit easier. But just as an example, for instance, 5, 1 will be one of those coordinates and 4, 1 will be one of those. We can also include something like um, 3, um, 3, 3 will be up here because it's inclusive. So that will be there, and it's actually on that y equals x line. Okay, um, I hope that's been okay for you. Please do accept my apologies for the drawing. Um, add a comment below. I'll always come back to you, and I'll, have a, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.